what is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels and come along the ride with me, folks. Play another round of the meta settings. Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. I am playing as white in the penultimate position. And what do these blizzards choke off? First and most important question to ask. Where are the significant blizzards? That is a significant blizzard. This is a significant blizzard. Everything else is slightly less so. Okay. Second question we're going to want to ask is where are the capitals? Do we see the magenta cap? No, we do see the red cap. Red chooses a trash capital. Um, do we see purple? No. Do we see green? Okay, we do. So based on this, a two-point Africa pocket, I fight with red. I think Russia is the move because no one's coming across the top. I'm going to cap on my two, I think. Hopefully, blue will see that at least. Yeah, good. I like this. I like this territory the best. Red wants to control the bottom. I don't love it, but I like it the best. I think that's a weak but acceptable cap option. Finally, blue. We don't see red. We don't see the magenta cap. We don't see the purple cap. Leon agrees. Russia cap's my best option. Right on. Yeah, I, I think so too. Okay, and blue. Blue now can't cap Russia. Maybe the cap southern Germany, I think. Would make sense. Depending on what's here. I don't see any of France or any of Spain, so. Yes, okay, I predicted the blue cap. Okay, cool. So this is a cool board. I like this board. I'm going to take the east. We'll see how the cookie crumbles. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Capital Conquest on Europe Advanced, the risk meta settings, because it's not risk global domination. It's caps global domination. Uh, Europe Advanced, Auto 60, Expert Progressive Automated Bot with Fog Blizzards on. Portals, Alliance is off. I'm in the fifth position of six. Uh, Tiger says, GDP, you move your stacks to block me so well. You just deserve the win. Cheers, bro. Yeah, man. I had a really fun, uh, I, I had a really fun round playing you. I always do have a fun round playing excellent opponents. So GG Tiger. And, uh, I mean it when I say best of luck in your next rounds. We just, we just faced off in PRT cup. So, uh, our opponents, the magenta players, oddly Bawa fly the flag of the United States of America in the second seat. We've overly Canadian flying the Canadian flag. Playing as red. He is overly. Can never be too much. Okay, so it looks like magenta bots out. We see turn one bot outs on these settings a ton, and I don't understand fucking why. The purple player, General Cobra 706, in the third seat. Uh, also USA flag. The green player in the fourth seat is iTwitch0. Also from USA, I am playing as white. This way anything goes account. I'm in the fifth seat. And finally, the blue player, General Hamada 15690. Also from USA. So we're playing a bunch of Americans, one Canadian, two Canadians, four Americans. And there you have it, folks. Uh, Pete, what's the difference between progressive and fixed? Oh, okay. Um, check it out. I can explain that. So you see the cards here? So you see how it says bonus on the right-hand side. So the cards in progressive increase in value based on the number of times that they've been traded in. So cards go four, then six, then eight, then 10, then 12, then 15, and then up by five. Uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, and so on. In fixed cards, the cards are worth a fixed amount based on how much you actually trade in. So three infantry are worth four, also known as the dude's trade. Three cavalry are worth six, three artillery are worth eight, and one of each is worth 10. So fixed cards tends to be a lot more about positioning um, than progressive cards, uh, as in holding board position, and getting bonuses from holding a lot of board and continents. Whereas with progressive, you get most of your value out of making kills at the right time, taking your opponent's cards and snowballing um, and setting in. Uh, Cyber Robo Gaming says, I'm curious how Europe Advanced would be if it was fixed instead of progressive. So these exact settings, um, if they were fixed instead of progressive, would be more snowbally. So someone who gets a good start is more likely to have a guaranteed win. Uh, and the reason that is so is because these bonuses are pretty jacked. I mean, I can work on Russia.
Let's see what's in the pocket. Let's, yeah, that's, that's the line. I want to see what's in the pocket. More blue. Ugh, I don't love that. Okay. I'm going to give blue a chance to get their troops out. Maybe they're smart, right? Maybe they make an attack on their turn that goes here, fortify out. Then they get to preserve the position. I love you, Blue. You didn't blow it yet. And also, that was um, that's a really sort of good negotiation between me and Blue. Okay, so Blue is now here, right next to Green. So Blue is hopefully going to be at a war with Green. So we're going to see some pressure build here. And there. Hey, thank you for the raid, uh, Mamba, and open. Thanks, guys. We got the professional risk takers raid. Thanks, guys. Welcome in, guys. Okay. J Piz says if no one snowballs and it stalemates hard, I'm never doing fixed caps on this map again. Lol. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind fixed capitals, but your point about stalemates, it you really do need the patience. When you're sitting down for fixed caps game, it could go very quickly. Pete, am I white? Yes, I'm playing as white. Um, could go very quickly. Could stalemate right to hell. Gando, you're far from a novice, bro. You like fixed world on this map? Right on. Yeah, well, why don't I show you guys the bonuses? For those who are new to the map, one of the reasons why this map is the meta settings is the bone. It is such a great map. Iceland worth two, British Empire worth three, Scandinavia worth three, Russia is seven, Eastern Europe is eight, Orient is six, North Africa is three, West Africa is six, and you have four bonuses. Southwestern Europe, Western Europe, Southern Europe, Dinaric Alps, and Southeastern Europe, each worth four, and Central Europe worth plus five, if you can hold it. I think this is one of the best maps in the game. It's beautiful. The bonuses are jacked. There's a lot of connectivity. There's a lot of deep strategic play to it. Purple is probably in Spain, Portugal, and now they're expanding to take France. Purple looks like they're good. Let's keep an eye out. Roll perpy boy. General Cobra 706. Anyone want to look him up? Someone look him up for me. I just I just get the vibe that this is a grandmaster already. And green starts with 11. Okay, green's also doing well. I figure, yeah, so green's taking noob corner. I'm still two turns away from Russia. I'm going to take everything in the pocket here. But I won't have enough to finish that. That's fine. The Russia position is is pretty good if no one else is around you. All right. Yeah. We're also going to slider to 100% to take just to get the best possible dice. And that's a bot. So we hit it for sure. You don't want a bot up there putting troops behind my lines. Yep. We're okay. We have a lot of board now. And blue puts troops in Africa. I don't think blue is very good. Yeah, they're randomly. They're not taking bonuses. They're just randomly attacking a bunch. So blue's kind of fucked. Did they lose their capital? No, right? No. That didn't make any sense. So blue's not very good. Um, turn three. Bot... Magenta bought in turn one. So so Magenta is behind in the card sequence. What is the thought process for capping Russia versus North Africa that has good blizzards? So North Africa has one blizzard here. So where would I have capped that would have locked? Right, I would have capped there. So then this line would be open. But red capped here, which means that red... That, that my expansion in this direction is limited by his capital. So I could maybe get this plus six, but I'm not guarding it with my capital. And if I get into a war with red, then I'm fucked. So instead, what I did was I chose a position on the board that was out of the way. So I have a lot of options. I, I can move this way. I can move this way. I can move this way. And I can let my opponents piss each other off. Also, I wanted to cap on a larger number because I'm close to the end of the 
uh, turn order. So I don't want to lose my cap turn one. So those are a bunch of the reasons. All right, Driz would like to know, hey, Pete, what is your most treasured memory? I feel like asking deep questions as you might get more from me. Okay, treasured memory. Um, every time people ask, and they have asked me this, every time people ask me this, something new comes up. I have a great memory, right? So I can picture a lot of moments in my life. And the moment that came to me there was um, going to the park, swing on the swing set. Um, behind my house was a, a Catholic school and then a, in a separate public park. Um, we backed onto it and we were on the path growing up. So this is me and my mother. And this is either before my sisters were born or when they were very young. Um, just spending time with my mom, um, you know, relaxing, being outside. That's, that's a treasured memory. I really value the time and effort my mother spent with me. She's an amazing, uh, she's an amazing, beautiful woman. And I'm so, so grateful for both my parents. They're absolutely fantastic. I nothing bad to say. Um, yeah, there you go. That's a good memory. I, I think that's a satisfactory treasured memory. I had a really great, uh, I had a really great upbringing. Okay. Let's see if Red likes that. Yep. Yeah. Red likes that. I'm not going to break your orient. So Red went this way. Now Red and I are ostensibly homies. Let's see if he actually lets me hold. Okay. Blue's coming out. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't, man. That's fine if he doesn't. Yeah, Blue just hitting shit in the middle. Huh. So what you're saying is after your sisters were born, there are no good memories. So I had twin sisters. My sisters were born when I was two and a half. So the early part of their life, so I'm like two and a half, three years old. Um, my parents were very taxed, right? In terms of energy level, in terms of emotions, we didn't expect twins, right? So I'm sure there was a lot of stress that they were under that, you know, contributed to who I am. Ooh, he's got both. Maybe just runs up my ass. Let's see what he does. Guards a little, but that's not a breaking stack. Pizza plays with Barbies. <laughs> My sisters had Barbies. I played with them when I was a kid. I played with action figures, though. Bruh. Okay, purple next. Yes, purple fucks with red. Yes, that will distract red. Good. That's good for me. Yay. Okay, they fuck with red. Did they? But they didn't get to Orient. So Red's powerhouse is still in Orient. Maybe they even opened the cap. That goes right up fucking purple. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Red's like, wait, fuck you. Pete just joined the stream. Is this a warm up game or the PRT Cup game? Sorry, we already played PRT Cup. Um, I'm going to change the stream title. Risk, brute streamer. No more. Okay. Dude, I've been so sniffly today. All right. We're definitely getting purple out of our... Ooh, purple has a second capital. That's where purple capped. Okay. So I don't have the bonus. I'm going to learn if he tries to go for the break, though, if he wants to be a good neighbor. But he already pissed off Red. He might think I have the bonus. I didn't break him in Romania. We'll see about it. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Dreadsog. XMP Exotic. In the middle of watching one of your videos, came to see if you were live. 
brand new to the game, only played four hours, but I'm in love with it, and you're an amazing teacher and content creator. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you enjoy the show. And Open said, Pete, I saw you talking about optimism and pessimism. I think you have a more accurate interpretation of those words than most people. Most people think it means everything's all right, don't worry. But I would say optimism is expressed as, I can recognize that the world sucks, but I have hope that we can make it suck less. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. My take on optimism is it is a choice. It is an outlook. Um, it's a frame of reference. Um, you know, the, the whole, the world is all right, don't worry, versus the world sucks. Um, that's more of a, a deeper spiritual tradition. Oh, we got Johnny here. What the hell, pay to win? Congrats on the game. Thanks, John. GG, man. I figured you were steaming by the end of that game. You hate having to skip cards. I don't hate what you did. I thought it was a very savvy line of play that you tried. Right, you were still playing to win, but like I know you, and you don't want to be King John leads fairly aggressive, right? You don't want to be skipping cards, do ya? <laughs> GG, bro. Okay, so purple didn't break me. And green getting seventeen. Okay, all right, we're all kind of stable. You sent me a DM on what happened. Oh, cool. Okay. I assume because it's DM that it's not public. Don't break me, Green. Don't break me. Green knows I don't have it. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. John did the Arcos rat. He kind of did. Yeah. It made sense though, because he found himself in a single position. So. All right. Well, now I just take this. And if they let me hold, if they let me hold all this, <laughs> they shouldn't. <laughs> Your position was terrible. You didn't want us to have a bot. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that, man. That would be shittier. So, th so thank you. You know, I'm curious to, uh, curious what you do during the winters when you wrap up the lawn business. So I have a snow business. Have had. I'm in the process of selling that now. Hey, thank you for the sub, XMP. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm getting out of the snow game. Been uh, plowing snow since 08. Almost 15 years. Holy fuck. I guess it would be 09. <sighs> what is Blue doing? All right. Well, now I have no exterior position. My only card is... Okay. They kill the bot. You go plow something else. Victor Slim. Oh my goodness gracious. Driz would also like to know. I'm going to keep the question train fast and strong. If you could learn one skill instantly, what would it be? Depends on your definition of skill. There's nothing I aspire to learn instantly. I think the no, no true skill is truly learned instantly, right? That's a shortcut. I like the process. I find a lot of satisfaction out of the process of growing and learning. Okay, we're hitting purple. Red's hitting purple. Cool. Well, if red hits purple, I hit purple. Maybe not. Purple reciprocates into red. I don't know. I need to pick a homie here. Am I going to get enough to steal the purple cap? <laughs> 15, eh? Okay, green get 22. What do I get if I don't get broke by green? I'm going to get way too many fucking troops. All right, green gets a 10 trade. Who's tasting that? Yeah, so uh, short short answer to your question, Driz, is um, I'm big on the mastery thing. I was a generalist for most of my life. Um, Risk really is the first time I specialized enough into something where I could be like, quote, world class at it, right? So 
um, a big part of this journey for me is the fact that it isn't quick. So 34 for a 15. Do we like that? Do we like stealing the purple cap? Oh, it's such a risky play. I want to be good to my homie. I want to be good to my Hermes. Hermes Maximus. Yeah, that was okay. That was okay. So because I got that laugh emote, I was like, they're at war with each other. So I'm going to take a second capital here. Blue getting 14. Who's blue hitting? And I have a set on three. Fuck yeah. What's up, Snowdy? Oh no, no way. Never catch you live first time here. Love the content, man. Keep it up. Thank you. So glad you like the show. What is up to all the new people? Welcome, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I really feel incredibly blessed that you enjoy the show. I try my best to, to put on a good one, so it's very rewarding to hear that my work is being well-received. Ooh, okay. So red lost their capital to purple. But I stole purple's capital. So he's a bot. Okay. Does purple have a set? So I can fuck over purple good now. Yeah. That goes right up. Cool. No problem. Yes. How much is on the red cap? I wonder how much is on the red cap. Maybe I kill red on four cards? That's the play. Try kill red. Green sets. 21. I think green and blue are at war. I'm going to try kill red. See if I get it. Okay. Yeah, green has the entire left hand side. Maybe I pivot to kill purple. Let's see. Thirteen? Yeah, I think this purple kill is fifty six percent is too low. Shit. Oh, there's a seven out there. So I fed the red kill. That <laughs> blue failed. All right, now who gets it? Set. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Now we gotta hope that purple doesn't have cards. Let's see what green does here. Green might just steal the 26 cap. Purple has cards, they probably just fuck up my shit. Maybe they go hunting for the kill? No, the kill's not worth anything anymore. No set, no set, no set, no set. No, set no. All right, 30 coming up my ass. Woohoo! Let's go. That's a bad sitch now, folks. Are we going to steal the seven? No, he's going to go all the way around. He's going to roll through a seven. Uh huh. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. No. Yeah, I like this. I like this. I break the other bonus. Sure. Nice. Good shit. Okay. Good job. 
full attrition. Okay, and green getting 36. So green to kill blue, green to kill red. There's a this is a second chance finish. Blue has no capital. Uh, maybe I can kill blue. That won't set me. Never mind. Okay. Green kills red too. No, it steals the cap. He's not taking the red kill. Yes, he is taking the red kill. Red dies. Okay, he misses the red kill. Okay. Okay. Not going to roll 33 for 26. Okay, so killing red doesn't set me, but... It does give me a higher placement. Um, and green has shit on his capitals. Yes. Fuck. Jesus fucking Christ, Red had so many fucking troops! <laughs> Shit! Giving up so quickly? No, look. Look at this board, right? This is a lost game. I'm. This is a, a desperate fight for a second. Right, look how many more... Look at, and a set on... Right? And, and five cards. This is a, a, a massively lost game. I completely mispredicted where everyone is. I didn't realize that red was here, that they'd gone that far. Green doesn't yet see my seven cap, but I don't have a set. So if they focus me, I'm fucked. I think they just sweep, right? They kill red. I don't think you put on cap. No, you kill me. Oh, they're just going to kill me. Or they're, no, they're going to feed my kill to purple. They missed my kill here. Purple gets me. All right. Well, I'm next act. I'll get red, and then maybe I can do something with a set. Green still can't figure out what he's looking at. Okay, but he's going to get me, and I won't be able to get red. Right. Good job by green. If he stops at any point, I'll try to hit that too. Yes. Good job. Yes. And gets the last territory. Fuck. All right. No hope. I get fourth. Yes. Set? Green cleans me up. Or... Or fees. Oh, and Red has a set there. Fuck. What's up, Mayak? First time watching on stream. Glad I could catch you live. Great content on YouTube. Help me be patient and take risk seriously. Almost Grandmaster on Classic Fix. Thanks to you. Almost. Let's go. Green should just cap run. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe purple has a set. Maybe we'll try to feed my kill. It's been a while since I enjoyed a good Twitch stream. Thank you for the great show. Thanks, man. Green's not great unless he was waiting for a third card for the bot. No, Green's not great. I know. He's missed He's missed the red kill for two turns in a row. Yeah, but he kills me. He, he doesn't kill me. He feeds me here. No, maybe not. Maybe the 62 goes around. 
So I do get fourth. I get I get uh, a lower placement than that bot. Yeah, good. He does get my kill. Good enough. Hey Pete, does reaching 100k on YouTube mean anything to me? Yeah, it means a ton to me. It means a ton to me. How much for you to coach me? It's, it, I can't come up with a number, man. I can't come up with a number that's uh, that's reasonable enough for you to pay. Yeah, so Purple was a master. Yeah, Green's an expert. He's not He's not terrible. Um, But yeah, I completely mispredicted where uh, Blue was and where Red was when he went for the Red kill. You still earn points for finishing fourth? You definitely lose points for finishing fourth on that, in that group. Also, we lose to a bot, right? We lose uh, points to the red player who disconnected. So that's like a broken system. But hey, do we give a fuck, right? Do we give a fuck about our points on a uh, account that is specifically built to not give a fuck? Thank you for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.